Zyme flow decontamination effectiveness is rooted in the chemistry's versatility. The chemistry can be applied in liquid or vapor, hot or cold. In quench systems, it is generally recommended with steam using a combination of vapor phase and boil out. Benzene removal is often problematic for vendors, but our process employing a combination of proprietary chemistry and decades of experience will provide for safe entry in a shortened timeline. Our treatments are remarkably efficient. It requires no utilities outside of plant air, steam and water, and only a small team to deploy. Our procedures are easily integrated into the plant's existing turnaround procedure, effective in removal of benzene, which is often where most vendors fail. Breaks down tars, waxes, and asphaltines, which are often contained in sludge, making removal of the contaminants within the sludge more manageable. Remaining coke is loose and should cut the maintenance time needed for this vessel. We can simultaneously safely deploy our vapor phase application with other application methods to ensure that units are effectively cleaned. Here, we see the quench tower and quench drum. First, the tower and drum are isolated and de-inventoried by the client. Next, the quench drum is filled to approximately 30% with water and chemistry so that the liquid submerges the weir and any corresponding sludge. The heavy buildup of coke and binder material in the quench drum make it inherently difficult to clean. Benzene and pyrophoric material often get trapped in the sludge. Our solvent package will break apart binder material, allowing the chemistries to penetrate more deeply in the oil-water separator. Once filled steam is injected into the liquid level to motivate the sludge in chemistry, the liquid within the drum is boiled out with the LEL and benzene being volatized out of the vessel along with the bulk of the water. The binder material holding the coke together will dissolve, leaving the unbound coke. The coke and additional inorganic species may remain, but the vessel will be gas-free and all sulfide species oxidized, allowing for personnel entry and maintenance. Subsequently, the quench tower will be decontaminated during the vapor phase. The same principle applies to the tower, which may be assembled with various internals, such as bubble cap trays and structured packing. The overhead vapor will be routed to flare or a flare recovery system. Once decontamination is completed, a once-through post rinse may be deployed via the tower top reflux post decontamination using water as the flushing medium. Zymeflow's vapor phase technology is superior to any other decontamination method. It produces fast results and the best overall cleanliness. Whereas competitors use multiple phases to treat and retreat for sulfides, vapor phase and boil out combine in one step to shorten timeline and reduce waste. Our chemistry stands out for its minimal effluent generation compared to other methods, producing effluent with COD and BOD levels an order of magnitude lower than the majority of chemistries used today. Less waste represents cost savings, time savings, and overall complexity of the operation. Simply put, Zymeflow's ability to remove benzene is unequaled in the industry.